Well, another concept that you covered in the book was knowing the difference between assets and liabilities. Now, me growing up in you know an immigrant uh, household, I was always told, buy a house as soon as you can. Your house is your greatest asset and so forth. And, and I remember you know, before really I, I got into my stride with my current company, I had bought three pieces of property. I, I first got a condo, then I bought a house, then I bought another condo. And by the time I sold each of them, I maybe broke even. And, and I was always wondering, what what am I doing wrong here? Did I just buy the wrong place and so forth? And it wasn't until Grant Cardone, we did an interview together, where he explained to me that a single family house is not really an asset. It's really a liability. It's only until you get into like six, seven, eight unit apartments that really you start having real assets and real businesses and so forth. And it was like, oh, like like a light bulb went up you know, over my head. You know, I, I rented for many, many years. I just bought a house last year, but I know it's not really an asset or really an investment. It was just something I did to reward myself for all the hard work, you know, in a place where my family could, could be raised, but it's not really an asset. And you talk about that, how most times your house is a liability. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's not the house, it's anything. The, the, the magical, you know, and Grant, he and I have gone, gone head to head with each other. So just to know that, so I don't have much, uh, I don't put much worth in his words. And you can buy apartment houses, but you don't have to buy an apartment house. The reason he says that is because he wants to sell you an apartment house. So I, I know his MO and I've gotten, I've gone round and round with him on this one. And asset is very simply something that puts money in your pocket. So think about this. Uh, so when people, you know, they make some money to buy a house, but if they stop working, that house starts taking money from their pocket. So right. it's not an asset. You buy a nice car, the car keeps taking money from your pocket. So it's a liability. You have three kids, they're definitely liabilities. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it's, it's nothing to do with apartment houses. And so I think he's miss, miss, he got that idea from me, I know that. So anyway, it's, it's more than that. So anyway, so I write a book and I get paid probably several hundred thousand a month from my rich dad, poor dad. My book is an asset. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So if, if I uh, buy a car and I lease it to an Uber driver, it could be an asset. It depends on the cash flow. So it all depends on the financial statement, income, expense, ask, you know, all that stuff. So it's not anything to do with apartment houses. That's he's trying to sell you an apartment house. I don't recommend it. Well, I think what he what he meant was if you have a number of units and people are paying rent, I understand. And, you know, you actually have a cash flow based on that, which is probably higher than what you put into it, and that's what he means by you know an asset in terms of the cash flow of it. Vlad, I, I, look, he's a smart boy, he's a good salesman. He and I have gone at it. <laughs> because it doesn't have to be an apartment house. He sells apartment houses. He wants yeah. to put you in his deals. So right. that's, to me, that's kind of a promotion, if you know what I mean. Look, it, it could be as, as simple as writing a book. Mm -hmm. Or you could buy a stock, or you could buy a bond, you know, let's say the bond is paying you 5%. I just, I don't trust bonds either. Yeah. But that's the difference. It's all, it's all what your uh, cash flow is. So if you have cash coming in, more cash coming in from the bond, let's say, than cash went out, it's an asset. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, uh, My YouTube channel is, is an asset. Yes. You know, it continues It continues to make money every day while I'm sleeping. It will continue to make money for many years. Uh, this interview, yes. people will watch it probably after you and I are gone and so forth. Yes. Uh, yeah. And that and that is my most it. important accent, it's as, that asset simple. in my business. Yeah. It's that simple. Exactly. It doesn't exactly. have to be an and, apartment house. 